Hi, my name is Adam White, Director of Technical Marketing with Beyond Trust. Today we'll be talking about web jump through a jump point. Uh, web jump, unlike some of the other connection options that you see there on the right hand side, RDP, VNC, SSH, or Telnet, protocol tunneling, web jump is a little bit what it sounds like in that you're connecting to a web page uh, through a jump point, or it's you know kind of proxying that connection through the jump point. The administrator is able to actually set up which specific website a technician can get to. So the technician here on the left-hand side, authenticating to the Beyond Trust appliance, uh, outbound over port 443. The jump point is connecting outbound over port 443. And the jump point is facilitating that connection to this web page that's designated by the administrator. Let's take a look at what that looks like inside of the Access Console. So I'll just switch over to the Access Console. Real quick, we've got an AWS console uh, listed here. We can see the, the host name that's been configured by the administrator, console.aws.amazon.com. We can see exactly that same information here in the details, as well as the jump point that's being employed to actually facilitate this connection. So what you'll notice when we uh, double click this line to start a connection with the uh, AWS console, first of all, the credential store that pops up that gives us the ability to um, actually connect using the AWS credential that has been provisioned for the technician. Um, not only do you need uh, provisioned access to see the device or the, the console in this case in the list, but you also need a valid credential so that that can be injected as a part of this process. So I'll click OK to actually inject that credential. The session will start. We'll see a new tab populate here in the Access Console here in just a moment. Um, by the way, I'm using the Thick Client Access Console here just on my Windows 10 machine. Uh, and so this new tab will populate and we will have the ability to connect to this specific web page set up by the administrator for this technician to access. So we see that coming in. Um, and I can start screen sharing now to actually engage with the console. Um, you know, if I, for example, need to, you know, like other types of sessions, bring in someone else to either, you know, share the session with an internal or external technician, a vendor perhaps, I can do that using this uh, invite functionality. One of the real value points for, for the organization is that this session is recorded. You can actually go in and look at a video of what I do in this interaction. Um, I didn't have to know credentials to log in to this console. They were injected for me and they would be rotated at the end of this session session. WebJump allows you to give access to technicians to specific web consoles. Uh, it may be Twitter for you know social media work. It may be AWS for uh, configuration of web services. Lots of options are available and all of them carry that same benefit of the ability to inject credentials, uh, to have that audit log of what exactly occurs inside of these sessions. And it's also very convenient for technicians, not only to start the sessions, but to be able to bring someone else in in real time should they need assistance. Um, feel free to reach out. If you have any questions, reach out to sales, check out our website, and thank you so much for your time.